The IMS standards, which specifies the IMS functionality, holds thousands of pages. Not all of this functionality is needed for basic voice delivery by the LTE network. To help the industry adopt a more simple IMS-based voice solution, the Voice over LTE initiative specifies a minimal feature set and selects a single option when multiple options exist for a certain functionality. The Voice over LTE initiative is now supported <clears throat> by major players as AT&T, Orange, Telefonica, Verizon, Vodafone, Alcatel, Lucent, and many others. Let's see now how IMS can be used in conjunction with the LTE network for supporting voice, either with the full MMTL usage profile or with the suggested voice over LTE standard. For supporting telephony signalization between the LTE network and telephony networks, the IMS uses the SIP, Simple Internet Protocol Commands. SIP is a standard protocol for establishing voice calls over IP networks. It has a set of standard commands that can be used to initiate and terminate calls between two SIP-enabled devices. The SIP was adopted by the IMS standardization as the protocol for handling the signalization between telephony networks and voice over IP networks. Let's see a simplified example for the process of establishing voice call using IMS platform and SIP signaling. At step one, the UE originates SIP invite request containing an initial SDP information which describes one or more media for the voice session. At step two, the proxy CSCF forwards the invite message to the serving CSCF identified during the registration procedure. At step 6, the serving CSCF forwards the offer response message received from the terminating network to the proxy CSCF, authorizing the resources necessary for this session. At step 8, the proxy CSCF forwards the offer response message to the originating endpoint. At step 9, the UE confirms the receipt of the offer response message and resource reservation is initiated. One of the functions required for supporting a voice call is translation between voice over IP protocol or more specifically between real-time transport protocol RTP to analog or PCM based formats in the circuit switch network and vice versa. This is accomplished by the media gateway, which is part of the IMS endpoint layer. The MRFP media resource function processor provides many voice-related services, including conferencing, playing announcements, collecting in-band signaling tones, speech recognition, speech synthesis, and others. The proxy CSCF, among its other tasks, provides quality of service-related information to the LTE network. The proxy CSCF acts as an application function for the voice service and provides the PCRF policy and charging control function the required inputs. 